guys, it's Tani. Welcome back. I feel weird on the floor. Let me like get up like a normal person. Okay. Hi guys, it's Tani. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a makeup decluttering video. Why did I do that? I am going to do a makeup, a makeup, a makeup decluttering, <laughs> a makeup decluttering video because I never go through my makeup. I'm a bit of a makeup hoarder as well. Um, I like to have my shelves stocked and full, but I use like 10% of my makeup. So I'm just going to go through my drawers today and get rid of everything that needs to be thrown out because look, half the stuff's empty or off. Like I just need to get rid of it. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, I have a few drawers of makeup here and then all my brushes are kept on the top with like the stuff that I use kind of like daily so i think what i'm going to do is start with the top drawer here um so this is my lipsticks foundations concealers and powders so like face products and then lip products so i think i might start with the lip products because i just know i'm going to dread doing that so let me just set up my tripod okay so i think what i'm going to do is just start by pulling them all out um i'm gonna have a lot of trouble letting go to half this stuff by the way let's just do this okay. filter them back in okay let's start with okay so first thing is this is a lipstick by napoleon purtis so and it is in the shade hess um i wore this to my year 12 yeah my year 12 formal um it's a nice nude color i don't wear it that often but i do really like the shade of this one so i think i'm gonna hold on to that one um i really like the clinique super balm what's it called yeah super balm lip gloss this is so nice and glossy on the lips definitely keeping that that's just a little travel one same with the clarins um it's a it's called a water lip stain it literally will stain the lips like if you're after um, a proper lip stain. This is perfect. I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's a Napoleon Purtis lip gloss, but I've had it for years. Now it's in the shade Caramel. It's a beautiful color, but I, I've had this literally since I was like 13, I think. So I need to get rid of that. Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade Crush. No, it's got Crushed lip color in the shade Angel. Beautiful, like pinky nude shade i'm gonna keep that one another one by clinique this is the clinique pop matte um, lipstick in the shade icon pop it's kind of just like a deep berry tone i have worn it a fair bit and i actually broke it off the, the bullet but i still will hold on to that one because i really like the color another one i absolutely love by clinique this is um the lip color pop in the shade nude pop i really like this because i got my name my name on there as well but yeah just another one i have like used so much i left this one in the car and again i broke it off um but yeah again really nice color so i would definitely hold on to that one now this i was given as a gift a couple years ago i've had it for way too long now um really nice product it comes with a lipstick on like lip gloss on one end and then a perfume on the other end it does smell really nice but i've just had it for too long and i haven't used it for ages so we'll put that away and i think i might get rid of this is probably one of my first ever lipsticks um what's this brand it's oh it's avon this one i remember really liking the formula but i just haven't used it like ever really i've had this for years um so i won't keep that one I think one that I should finally part with is another one by Avon. Avon was like one of my first makeup brands. I used to love this color and I still do, but again, I just don't reach for it anymore. It is way too old to be using still, so I think I'll get rid of that one. Oh, and it does actually come with like a little lip gloss on the top. I thought that was so cool back when I was like 13. <laughs> Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. To be honest, I never really wear this, but I do love the color. So I'm going to hold on to that one. The one I'll hold on to is the um, Clinique Pop Matte Lipstick in the shade Peppermint Pop. It's just a classic red shade. Really, really like this one. Have used it a lot. 
Sorry, Avon. I've got to get... <laughs> this is my old dance lipstick, I think. I used to always use this as my red lip. Um, but again, um, I, I have gone well past its use by date, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, and then back to some Clinique products. Now, I do really like these products, but they've all been discontinued. So, I don't really want to hold on to them just because um, no one, you can't buy them anymore. I'm just going to hold on to the hot pink one just because I like to sometimes use it with crazy makeup looks. <laughs> so, I might keep that one. That's a red matte. I won't need that because I've got other matte ones. So, we can get rid of that one. Boom Pop. I really like this colour actually. But again, I don't... Um, I've got other colours like that, so I'll get rid of that one. I might actually keep this just because it's a different formula. It's like a um, lacquer, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, so there's two minis here. I'm going to hold on to these. I got these in the gift with purchase from Clinique. Beautiful nude shade. This is Bear Pop. Definitely holding on to that. Um, another one is Plum Pop. I really do like this shade. It's just a soft, like, pinky purple shade. I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, rosette I will oh it's discontinued as well I'll put this in the maybe pile because I'm not too sure if I want to keep it or not blush pop I love this colour haven't used it yet though but I am going to hold on to that I think one I should finally part with is I bought this when I was like 14 I think from sports girl um, it was it was really in do you remember when this colour was so in Okay, maybe it's just me and I saw it on um, someone and thought it looked great. So I got it for myself. This does not suit my skin tone or my hair color at all. So um, not only is that past its use by date, that does not even suit me. So that's going. I might do some glosses. I'm definitely keeping the Mecca Max um, Shimmer Shot Lip Glitter. I love this. This is so glittery on the lips. Love it. Definitely keeping my Lano lips. That is so nice on the lips. I will keep both of the um, lip pop splashes. Um, this is by Clinique as well. Um, this color I wear like almost every day. This one is actually a lot more sheer than it looks. So I really like wearing that one. I keep the MAC lip gloss just because I haven't tried this one yet. But I think I'm going to get rid of the Napoleon um, lip gloss. Because again, I, I got this. When I had my very first makeup class, I did a class with Napoleon. With me and my mum went and you just learned how to do your makeup. Um, and you could redeem it on products at the end. And I think I must have been in year nine. So I was, how old are you then? 15? 26? I was around 15. So that was five years ago. So I need to get rid of that one, unfortunately. So this one I bought not long ago. I bought it in Greece actually because I forgot a lipstick. So I just needed one to wear every day um, and when I was going out. So we'll hold on to that. I still love the color. And then this one's by Estee Lauder. Absolutely love the color. Beautiful nude shade. So definitely going to hold on to that. Oh, this was the... Um, Clinique was supposed to launch a dramatically different lipstick range here in Australia. Um, but for some reason it got cancelled, so, um, I got a lipstick and it never launched, but I'm just really, I really love the lipstick and the colour, so I'm actually going to hold on to that, even though it's not available. Um, and then I absolutely love, I bought this MAC lipstick, it was the Aladdin, Aladdin collection, um, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I don't know, beautiful shade. Just looks like this here, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Another one by Sports Girl. I'm going to get rid of this bright pink color, which has like foundation on it, if you can see that. Uh, so yeah, again, that's probably over five years old, so we will get rid of that. And keep the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick. I do like that one. I don't really need two of these, so I might keep the darker nude and get rid of the lighter one. Okay. And next, this I'm actually using at the moment, it's um, the Clinique Sweet Pots Sugar Scrub and Lip Balm. So on um, one side, you've got the lip, the lip scrub, which is a sugar scrub. And then the other side is just a lip gloss 
to moisturize your lips and I actually really like that so I'm holding on to that I might hold on to this just because I have don't really have a color like it I'm gonna hold on to this MAC liquid lipstick I remember buying this ages ago um, but I do really like the deep color on me it looks really nice so I'll keep that um, I've got a few lip liners I'm gonna keep Whirl by MAC I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep all of them intense blush neutrally. I don't know where all my lip liners have gone. And then we've got the Too Faced um melted liquefied longwear lipstick. I actually really like how this applies. I don't really like the colour. Um but I'm just gonna keep it in case I want to do a bright lip. Um and I will also keep the Chubby Stick by Clinique in the shade Mightiest Maraschino. Just because I like to use it when my lips are quite dry and I want a red lip. Oh, and one more thing. This little palette we were given um, at awards night uh, two years ago. Well, last year, I can't remember. Um, to be honest, I never use it. However, I really, I think it's super cute. So I'm going to keep it in the hopes that I will use it. Okay, so that means all of the lipsticks are done. So that's their, these, I'm not actually throwing away as much as I thought I would have to with the lips. But there's a bit of a pile there, so I don't need those. I've also just decided halfway through doing this that I might make this like a two or three part video. I might do one draw per video so it's not too long. So lipsticks are done. I'll move over to the uh, this mess over here. I might just start by taking everything out. There is a hair on me. Um, okay, what do we want to start with? Actually, powders, I'm going to keep all of them. I don't have many powders, so I'm just going to fill some of those back in. Okay, so that's all my powders. Um, now for... I'll do foundations. I'll get foundations over with. Okay, first thing I'm going to keep is the Garnier BB Cream. I do really like this just for um, a very soft, natural look, so I will keep that one. And then I have my Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. I've got two different colors, one like my summer shade and then my winter shade. I am gonna keep both of those because I use them all the time. Okay, and then another one I've got is the Clinique Stay Matte um, Oil Free Makeup. This is like a nice sheer to medium coverage foundation. I'm gonna hold on to this one um, and I'm gonna get rid of this shade here um, because I don't need double up so i might give that to my mum and see if she'll use that another cc cream i've got is the it cosmetics absolutely loved this overseas it's got high sun protection it's also anti-aging and hydrating as well really good coverage too so i'm going to keep the cc cream okay and then some of my holy grails i've got the um giorgio armani luminous silk the mac studio fix and the nars sheer glue i'm going to keep all of those still love these um foundations they're fairly new as well i'll keep all of these too i think so there's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I recently purchased this and I really like it. It's beautiful. So I'll keep that one. I'm going to keep the Clinique Anti Blemish and the Clinique Even Better Glow. I really like both of these foundations. Now, I've got these two foundations here, which I will keep. Um, I don't normally wear them because they are super full coverage. So I just like to keep them, though, in case I want to use it for like a really full coverage makeup look or a really like dramatic one. So... I'm going to keep both of those just to use for like those types of um, occasions. So we'll hold on to those. These are just backups of my everyday foundations. So we've got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Um, this is in the shade 01 Linen. And then I have the Clinique Even Better Foundation in Ivory. Um, this is like my everyday foundation when I just want medium coverage. And then Beyond Perfecting is great for a um, more full coverage look. So... Um, they're just backups as I keep my the stuff I use like every day um, on my bench top. So I just keep these in, at the back of my drawer for when I run out. Okay, is that all the foundations? Oh, I've got one more. The Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, this is just still in its box because I haven't got around to using it yet. So I'll keep that one. That is all my foundations. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do concealers now. So these are my concealers here. So... My favourites are the Clinique Beyond Perfecting and then the 
Too Faced Born This Way. They are my holy grails, so I'm definitely keeping those too. I used to absolutely love the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, and I still do like it. It's just a bit light for me at the moment, but I will hold on to that for when I'm pale. Same with the Tarte Shape Tape. I do like this concealer. To me, it's nothing crazy special, but I do like it, so I'll hold on to that. And then my Maybelline concealers. I'll get rid of one of these because they're both the same shade and they are both really old. I'm just trying to see which one looks more full. They both look like empty. I think that one's more empty. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then on to primers. Professional. This is no good on my skin. However, I might hold on to it for summer when my skin gets a little bit more oily. So I will keep that. And then I will also keep the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I do really like this. So hold on to that. This is empty. The, oh gosh. The Mecca Max Bring On Bright Illuminating Primer. I do really like this, but yeah, it's empty. So I'm going to throw that one away. <laughs> Um, and then I just got some like little um, glitter glues and primers. So I'll just keep those as I do use those sometimes. Um, that did not go as well as I thought it would. Mm, I should probably color a little bit more. But anyway, so that is the top drawer done. Next time we will do the second drawer, which is like mascaras and blushes and bronzers, which I will get rid of a lot of those. Um... But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.